The hot potato soup. Hot potato soup. Thank you. You're welcome. He's thick. He looks a mess. That is a mess. Oh my gosh, he's just made the most fucking god awful face. Holy mackerel. Mm. It's like lumps of glue. What a fucking embarrassment. Fuck. How's the soup there for you? Uh, yeah. It's like it's been made out of leftover mashed potatoes. They fresh every day? They make it probably every other day. Every other day. Definitely not today. It's just crazy. Crazy. Thank you, Brian. Beautiful sunny day outside and thick, rich, bland stodge on the inside. What a shame. He didn't like the soup. He didn't? Bland. Bland? Oh, my god. How's the um, skins? They're fine. OK. These mm -hmm. are your ranch and bacon potatoes. OK, great. Thank you. Right, hot potato cafe, baked potatoes. But these are the frozen ones. They're the frozen ones. God, they taste dreadful. When were they baked? Probably about three weeks ago. Three weeks ago? I know it may sound like a stupid question. If they were baked three weeks ago, where's the filling gone? We use the filling for the mashed potatoes. So my potato's been sold already? Yes. This restaurant's called Hot Potato Cafe. It is. Yeah, and you just served me three-week-old frozen potato skins that have no potato inside. I feel like uh, I'm a potato organ donor. How strange. <laughs> no, you laugh. I'm glad you find it funny, because I don't. I'm sorry. No, no, I don't want you to be sorry. I'd be fucking embarrassed if I had to serve that. <sighs> anyway, next. Okay. All right. I'm going to go kill myself in a kitchen. It's hard to hear sometimes when somebody comes in here and tells you how bad your food sucks. It's like someone calling your kid fucking ugly. It's hard to hear. Oh, my God. What was he saying? That we should be embarrassed. We baked potatoes three weeks ago. So he's like, so somebody else ate my insides, because I said we used them for mashed potatoes. Oh, my God. Well, we did. I know, but when you see here broken down like that, it's all god awful. I can only do so much, you know? I've been given these recipes, and I'm just rolling with them, and I'm completely lost myself. I'm going to bring out the shepherd's pie. Say a rosary before you walk out the door. And remember, the bowl's hot. Gotcha. And we have the shepherd's pie. Besides that portion. Mm. I got two thirds mash and one third of greasy minced lamb. That's not the shepherd's pie I know. I'd like them to taste that, because each and every one of those owners need to know what kind of shit has been served. You got it. My god. He wants all three of you to taste the shit that you serve people. All right, give me a spoon. That's like something you get in the cafeteria at college. It does suck. It was like, hello. I think it's me. And after sending another raw burger back to the kitchen. David, this is really bad. I'm about done with this child's shit in here, man. Wow. I out of here. Don't leave here. Chef David Blaine wants to disappear. I'm about to blow up, man. People are crazy. I left out of frustration. But when I came on, I made a deal with my staff to stay. And I keep my word, and that's what I'm doing. Let's do this. <sighs> OK, we got the big cowboy burger, medium rare. OK, we don't have any of those extra big buns. I don't know who is the ruler. Oh, this is going to be interesting. We got the cowboy done. I'm terrified to bring out of this burger. I don't even think you could swallow. <laughs> they tried. Here is the cowboy burger. Oh cowboy with a very small hat on top. Look at the bun. Where'd you start? <laughs> Honestly, look at that. <laughs> Come on, seriously. $39. You'd expect a decent bun. Greasy, cooked to hell. Damn. 
Thanks, man. That is dreadful. Dreadful. I'm so sorry. Thank you. It's not your fault. Well, I was shocked, disappointed, embarrassed, hurt. Meat pies up, guys. But the one thing I have that's a little different is an Australian meat pie. The Australian meat pie is the number one staple in Australia. I have brought them to America, and Chef Ramsay will absolutely love it. And that's Ramsay, by the way. She's not going to like it. What? She's not going to like it. <laughs> so this is the... The Australian meat pie, oh. the beef. To go down under. What is that thing? What a mess. I mean, that's disgusting. That Australian pie can flock off back to Australia with pleasure. I've got raw, doughy pastry on top and soggy, gooey stuff on the bottom. One word for this meow, cat food. Disgusting. Just cool down, I mean, I All we've done, all stuff. that's happened is we have been attacked. 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 Why are you behaving like this? Because I'm insulted. You verbally insulted me yesterday, and I held my tongue out of class. I didn't tell you the truth. I didn't say nasty things to you. Really? Okay, really, I didn't, really. When I told you about the burger, you refused to listen. You don't understand. You're judging me on you coming in here, disrupting the entire service. I've been doing this. Disrupting? You did disrupt us last night. How could I focus when you're on my food? What about my lunch? When you're standing here talking to my husband. What about when you cooked me? What about when I cooked for you? Who disrupted you then? Everybody. What are you talking about? Blaming everybody again. I do my best so our business doesn't close because we can't find qualified people. You go get Miranda and that little Katie and Jessica. Bring them here the and let me see how they, they work. Will you here. do that? Of course. They're, oh. Do you know what? They're scared they're, of you. They're and scared. And they're embarrassed. But unfortunately, you've convinced yourself in your little Amy's world that everything you cook, touch, send, is perfect. I do not. What? Are you, am I arguing? Garlic I only goes well with white truffle. Well, let me delicious. show you some. Can I show you reviews? Hundreds of reviews oh, no. that are excellent that oh, no. you didn't write that Not are from the real customers. On the internet again. No, good reviews. Real customers that have supported us look for six years. Way you, look at the way. You're attacking my business attacking. and my life. This is I'm all I do is live this life every day. You're not telling me the problems. You are saying I'm delusional, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this. <laughs> Can we talk about what we came here to speak about, oh. please? Yeah, let them feed it. Yeah, I want them to you told me to be honest. Says. I am always about honest. About the problems that you've had, that you cannot talk to her, your wife, and the issues, that she can't take criticism before yeah, she knows I that. met That's her. That's fine. I, I have no problem saying that. that. That's fine. Wow. Well, I think you're too far gone. OK, then let's end the show. You think I'm too far gone. There's no hope. Yalla, yalla. It's Christmas. Let's go home. I can't help people that can't help themselves and cannot ever take one ounce of criticism. And if you're not willing to change, I'm not going to butt heads, argue, scream, whatever you want to say. But this is not normal. And it's not normal for a restaurant to go through that many staff. It's not normal for a kitchen that small to have 65 items on the menu. And it's not normal for the level of animosity that you've built inside this restaurant and outside. You have the right to run the business the way you want to run your business. I have the right to do the right thing. And the right thing for me is to get out of here. Good luck. Wow. Yeah, of course that's what I wanted. Participate in this bullshit. Give me a break. Can they take this thing off me? We don't need his help. Maybe he knows that. It all has to come down. And now he's gone. He walked away. He'll go on with his life. Sammy and I will go on with our life. <laughs> Hi. How are you? I'm Lexi. Right. Sister number two. Sister number two. Yes. Right. You are glamorous. Thank you. Amazing, amazing. Um, what's that smell? Is it just me? I don't you smell it. Go outside, take a big deep breath of fresh air, and come no, back. No, no, no. I smell your cologne, which smells good. No. <laughs> okay, wait. Ready? Let's do it. Now. Why is that? No, 
Wait, is this a spell to you there? No, no I just smell just you. Just there. I just smell you. Really? Did somebody die in here last night? No. It's okay. possible. Jesus. No. Oh, okay, well, I'm, is that? All right, I, follow I, me, sir. I haven't tasted the food yet. All right. I'd love to meet Dad. All right, I'll go get him. What's that smell? Can you smell something? No. Oh. no. How are you? Good to see you. Same here, sir. Come and say hello. And you are? Lewis. Lewis. The manager. You're the manager? Yes. Yeah, good to see you. Same here. Dad? Yes, ma'am. Chef Ramsay would like to meet you. Me? Meet Why you? me? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Why would he want to meet you? Follow me. I am quite nervous about Chef Ramsay's visit and how my dad's self-esteem will take it because he has a hard time taking criticism. This is good my father, you. Mike. Mike? I'm Mike. Pleasure. But the fact is, we need the help, and if somebody's willing to give it to us, we need to take it. I really hope that he can help Dad. How long have we been open? 15 years. 15 years. Yeah, when was the last time you changed something in the dining room? Uh, never. Wow. Everything's pretty much as I bought it. Yeah. 15 years ago. And how would you rate your food, 1 to 10? I would rate my food in the upper 9s. Wow. Great, I love that. Uh, I can't wait to yeah. taste it. The food is not the problem here. It's Thank either you. the atmosphere, the ambience, or the service. Here's your regular menu, and here's your specials menu, sir. Does someone PP on my menu? <laughs> is that, a, is that? I don't know. That's not a your own statement. I don't think so. No. I'm pretty sure it's probably coffee. Okay, great. Thank you. If you need anything, I'm at the front. Oh, smell. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? How are you? I'll be your server tonight. Uh, good to see you. Can you smell that? Or is it just me? You smell something, right? <laughs> yes. Honestly, it's like we buried like bodies underneath the carpet. Yes, it's most definitely the carpet. That stinks. I the restaurant is filthy, disgusting. It's full of mold. It's worse over there. <laughs> Seriously? You're in the good part. <laughs> Thank you very much. About what he might order, because there's quite a few items on the menu. And I know he's not going to like the pictures in there. Always nervous when there's menus with ghastly pictures. Did you need a few more moments? Um, do you know what? I'm going to order the uh, loaded potato pizza. Yeah, let's go for the uh, famous ribs. I'll go for this pulled pork cheese boat. Not a problem. Thank you, my darling. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Say a little prayer. Trust me, I already said a prayer today. OK, here's his order. Is that Ramsey? Yes, sir. I'm just hoping Gordon Ramsey isn't too hard on me because this type of food wasn't my idea. This fryer is ready to go. God, it's grim in here. Sad and grim. <laughs> and a carpet that looks like it's had a thousand buffaloes walking all over it. Holy shit. Yeah. I now have a loaded baked potato pizza. Lovely. Thank you, mate. Mm -hmm. Holy mackerel. That's the strangest pizza I've ever seen. I'm going to ask my beloved father to bless my food. Gentlemen, can I ask a quick favor? Yes. What's yes. that? Would you mind just blessing my food? Oh, yeah, oh would you? sure. Yeah? If you'd be so kind. Absolutely. Well, good and gracious God, we ask that you bless this food, bless Chef Gordon as he is about to receive it, that it may nourish him. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you. Fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah. God. Oh, my God. What is all that, man? That is a ranch sauce. So they put a ranch dressing on the pizza? Yes. It's almost like sort of wallpaper paste. So the pizza sucks. James, I can see that right there. Can I help you? John, your pizza has bombed. To be honest, I, I've tasted the pizza, and it tasted good. I didn't see what he was talking about. The ribs are going to be right, huh? What do you think? Yep. Perfect ribs. Finally, the ribs. Lovely. Thank you. You're welcome. I was hoping maybe, just maybe, he'd like the ribs. Chef, we're doing all right here. Yeah. Who's responsible for the sauce? The chef's recipe or? It's a generic sauce. It's a shame because it just I destroys do. the flavor. Uh, they are embarrassing. Yeah, I mean, you've got cartilage in there, a mouthful of fat, grease on the outside. That's not even trimmed. Sad. Uh, I agree. I'm very embarrassed. A bit like the restaurant. Sad. Yeah. Dude, we're serving an untrimmed rib. What do you want trimmed off? The fat. All ribs have fat on John doesn't get it. He's ordering an inferior rib. He's trying to cut corners. I'm just so frustrated that I feel like 
banging my head against the wall. Stand up, sandwich with French fries. Thank you, Diane. Enjoy. Thank you. Processed cheese that just like gluing. Pulled pork sandwich. Yeah, that's pulled straight out of the bin. Sweet, taste of nothing, and absolutely ghastly. Oh dear. Yeah, but pulled pork sandwich. Oh, um, sorry, excuse me. Forgive me, Father, but oh. they have sinned, and I, out of respect for you guys, you're not going to eat that, OK? OK. I don't want to go straight to hell. Oh, got man. a crab cake going out with a Caesar and a small salad. Where's Rishi, by the way? She's getting ready for belly dancing. Tonight? Right? We're ready to go on the second check as well. Candace, you're up. Where was this? What? <laughs> Cornbread. Huh? When was this cornbread made? That was made the other day, and we weren't even going to serve it. We just threw it back here because we weren't even going to serve it. You we just made, threw it. We, we Ooh, made that. Dennis, 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 big deep breath. You just made it. Made it the, the other, other day. Yeah. Threw it back here because you weren't serving it. Because, yeah, not... it, got bur it got burnt, and Rocky told me just go throw it in the back room for right now. I just feel that. Oh, I know. It's terrible. I don't know. It's pretty bad. Music, 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 music. You are kidding me. Five, six, seven, and. Are you fucking serious? I'm not joking, you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Close the doors, put me off my dinner. Me. Oh my god. She's just in her own world and she thinks that everybody's loving it. And as you look around, you can tell that people are confused. <laughs> Some even mortified. Chef Ramsey locked himself in the freezer to get away from the belly dancing. Oh my god. <laughs> It is weird, yeah. <laughs> belly dance? That was a belly flop. <laughs>